Memphis College of Art has long been the go-to for discovering and supporting local artists. Its annual Holiday Bazaar, the go-to place to find artists' work and raise money for the college, for 69 years in fact. But the school is closing next spring, so it's going all out for this year's event. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Moncrief shows you new at 6. All right, Richard, local artists are sad to see the Holiday Bazaar go. It's held its ground for many years, decades actually, in the area. And one artist we spoke with showcasing her work for the first time, yet she has a special connection to the In this bizarre. field, there's no such thing as coincidence. I didn't chose the spot, the spot chose me. <laughs> Rose Conway is a pottery artist showing her work for the first time at the Memphis College of Art Holiday Bazaar. When I arrived on Wednesday to set up, <clears throat> Um, I noticed that this medallion of Burton Calicott was in the middle of my display. Not knowing who he was, Rose did some research. Found out that he started out as a ceramic artist. He was a founding member of Memphis College of Art. A ceramic artist just like her, sharing a love for rainbow prisms. November 23rd, 16 years ago, was the day many Memphians celebrated his life. That's when he passed and it happens to be the final day of the Memphis Holiday Bazaar. So, you know, I'm just honored to be here. An honor shared with other artists as this is the 69th and final year of the event. I feel like it's one of the best, if not the best art market for the holidays in town. So it is, I'm really disappointed that it's the last one. And one of my favorite things about the event is that it really brings the community together. Crafting what they love, for others to see. It just warms my heart. It's very validating of what I've chosen to do after retiring from the Navy after 24 years. The Holiday Bazaar is a two-day event with more than 120 local artists. The preview purchase begins this evening and the open market is all day tomorrow. Live in the studio, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News. Thank you.